Hello my dear friends, today uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, Leonardo Officina Italiana and the new masterpiece Ebonite limited edition collection. Many of you may recall that I have already showed you this uh, collection but I felt the urge to tell you some more because there are a few uh, features that need to be better clarified so this is the box you have learned to see in our videos it's a splendid ebon, ebony makassar wooden box that has been made for us by the gentili company in the marker region of italy they are artisans of wood um, the, their craftsmanship is amazing and it's a box that contains 12 pens on two different layers and inside you have probably already seen this beautiful Leonardo pens in ebonite we have the first from the right is the flame in the middle you find the rosewood one and the green ebonite is the third and beside the beautiful angel skin in this shade of rose or pink rose that is uh, perfectly matched with the rose gold trims of the pen the real treasure of this pen is inside i'm going to open one for you the rosewood which is the classic cabonite and here you find the famous, now famous, La Fenice, the Phoenix, solid gold nib by Leonardo. I'm going to turn the, the pen because here you can see the engraving of the limited edition number. They have been released in uh, uh, 100 pieces per color. And under the nib there is also the in-house made feeder, ebonite feeder that provides a perfect and constant flow when you write. This new nib by Leonardo, it's a six sides nib, 14 carat solid gold. Uh, available in, uh, uh, the nib is available in six widths. They are uh, extra fine, fine, medium broad double broad and stub 1.4 it's uh, made in the shape of the momento zero grande which is the most iconic and famous uh, collection model made by leonardo this is one of the most uh, fascinating from my point of view uh, of the three colors it's called the flame because it's more unusual and original than the other one. And now I'm gonna try for you a few of these nibs. Starting from uh, the angel skin pen, which compared to the other ones has a nice difference which is the ink window that you will find in all uh, the Momento Zero Grande 2.0 collection which, which has been very recently released and you can have a look in this nice advertising panel here and the nib it's there Wow, perfect. Let's try this medium with the Taurasi red, with the, sorry, nutmeg color. Wow. Leonardo. Momento. Zero grande. Grande. 
angel skin. The nib is very smooth and it follows the line perfectly. And it's a uh, perfect medium size, medium western size. It's not too wet, uh, not too dry. It's I, I believe it's the, it's the perfection. And let's try the fine one, which we have here uh, showed uh, for you in the green one. Look at the beautiful pattern of this uh, green ebonite. The Greek of the cap band. This is actually one of my favorite colors. I love greens. You have always the number engraved on the side of the section. And the beautiful ebonite feeder. Let's try this fine. Yeah. La Fenice by Leonardo. I have to tell you that it's a very beautiful addition to the range or, uh, Leonardo has already in his um, offer of nibs. And uh, this fine, as you well know, it's my favorite. It writes beautifully. And it's really smooth. It doesn't scratch at all. And then I'm going to try the two sides that, that actually you probably know are not my favorite, even if they are so beautifully crafted. We have here the Stub 1.4. Let's see if my writing with the stub has improved or not i don't think so because i haven't got much i haven't had much time to practice so stub 1.4 leonardo la fenice wow it doesn't skip which is a real improvement from for me i usually tend to have the, the stub skip because I don't put the, the two tips perfectly aligned with the paper at the right angle. But here I managed to do it, so it means that the nib is very well made. And of course, as I usually say, if you write seven, it's even better. And lastly, Let's have a look at the double road, sorry. <laughs> In the rosewood pen. <laughs> it's very similar, I have to say, to the stub nib. It may look like a stub, but it's a little bit more rounded on the edges. And the tip, it's even rounder and bigger than the stub so let's compare the two mm -hmm. in fact i have to dip it a little bit more here it is double broad you can see we haven't had we haven't got here the classic uh, um, cut shape and difference in the width of the, of the stub the, the nib is perfectly rounded but it's quite huge and big so it's perfect for signatures or even for whoever likes to have a very smooth writing without bothering about the sides for little notes of course it's quite difficult to use but it's really enjoyable on all the other possible uses that you can have with this name. Yeah.
I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so let's have a last look at the three wonderful masterpieces from Leonardo. Haha, <laughs> now I think you have only to decide which is the color that suits you well, suits you better than the other. This is my favorite, then this one, and then the rosewood, but just because I have a lot of rosewoods. <laughs> okay, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye bye.